Hi! I'm alive! It has been so long, but I'm back. So, as to where I've been. So, on May 26th, I had surgery on my left foot. Now, there wasn't anything dramatic, no accident or anything. I didn't fall or anything. I have a deformity in both of my feet. That makes it really, really painful to stand and to walk. And originally, I thought I would just tough it out. You know, I'd get used to it. Um, but over the last couple years, I've just realized that that is not practical. So we got... Um... <laughs> Toast hears me talking. Um, we just decided to get my surgery scheduled for the first one. So for the past six weeks, I've been in recovery, which means a lot of time on the couch. So the last six weeks I've been downstairs in the living room on the couch. So I thought I'd make a little video showing what I've been doing with my time. I got obsessed with Metopia. And by obsessed, I mean obsessed with a capital everything. Like I was playing it for hours on end. Like I'm sure there were a couple days where I did nothing but play Metopia all day. I had that much fun with it. I've still been playing it. Not nearly as much because I've been up in Adam and doing other things, but Metopia is just a fun time. It is a game meant specifically for people like me that love RPGs but don't like when they're too serious or dark. I mean, Metopia is just a fun time. I hear you. <laughs> Metopia is a great time. It is character creation, it is an RPG, it's battles, it's outfits, it's Food. It's all of this stuff that is just so fun. Um, I'm including footage of what my character looks like and what Brady's character looks like in our little outfits. The most fun thing in Metopia for me has been collecting all the outfits for all the different roles. And the um, ultimate one for each role is called the legendary blank. So for instance, as a princess, which is what I have my character as, because of course, um, princesses wear gowns. In this game so the best one's called the legendary gown brady has the legendary uniform because he's a chef etc etc but it's been so much fun i love leveling up the characters and it's just a really fun game and it takes up a lot of time i've been trying to 100 percent complete it which is very time consuming but a lot of fun i'm not quite there yet but i think if i keep playing and get back into playing every day i think i'll get there I worked on the big blue blanket during my recovery. If you don't know what that is, it's something that I worked on quite a bit while I was consistently streaming on Twitch. I would just kind of sit and work on my knitting and talk. I've been working on that blanket on and off for about a year and a half now. Um, it's exactly what it sounds like. It's big, it's blue, it's a blanket that I've been knitting. It's a very simple stockinette stitch, which means it's super easy to work on while watching TV or listening to a podcast or anything. There's no counting of stitches. It's just knit one row, purl one row, over and over and over again. I don't know how many stitches there are per row. I literally just filled my 36-inch um, circular needle with as many stitches as I could fit on it at once and just went for it. And it has been a very nice project. It is very nice to just sit and knit without having to pay attention to what I'm knitting. It's just something for my hands to do. It's just muscle memory. And since it's such a time consuming project, it was perfect for recovery. I worked on some puzzles. I am nowhere near the level of skill or speed as Karen from Karen Puzzles, which by the way, if you haven't watched her channel, highly recommend very good videos she makes incredible stuff and she kind of sparked a new hobby in me of doing puzzles anyway i did three puzzles during recovery um i didn't work on them very consistently i think at first i like had brady bring me down my gradient one by cloud berries which i absolutely love it's actually on the shelf back there hit that um and i kind of worked on that over the course of a couple days uh because at first i was laying down on the sofa with my leg elevated and I couldn't sit up for long periods of time. But in the times that I could sit up, I liked to sit at my folding table and work on my puzzle for a little bit before I had to lay back down. So it was a really nice project to help me practice sitting up, having my foot on the floor and getting it used to being down instead of elevated. I also did this, actually it's right there, but I'll show you in a close up of course, but I did this puzzle about cats and the different astrology signs. I love that puzzle. It's one of my favorites. 
It's only 500 pieces. It's a very quick, speedy puzzle, so it's one where you feel like you're making a lot of progress. Same with the Cloudberries one. I did a Lego puzzle as well that Brady bought me, but it was really hard. Like, I know looking at the design, you think it'd be easy enough to split out the colors and then just put it all together, which in theory, yes. But every single puzzle piece is the exact same shape. Like they're all the basic, like two prongs, two holes, kind of puzzle piece shape. And it was really difficult, but I finished it. I got that puzzle done and it was a really good time getting to sit up and work on some puzzles. I have to be honest, I did a lot of sleeping. I mean, when you're recovering from surgery after going under anesthesia, you are so sleepy. Like for the couple days after surgery, I did nothing but sleep, I feel like. I felt like I was either half awake and kind of vaguely watching the TV, or I was out like a light. And Toast was cuddling with me for a lot of it, which was great. But I did a lot of sleeping. Like I was just wiped out. And since then, over the past six weeks, I've been slowly sleeping less and less, like during the day. Like I sleep okay at night. Now I do. In the beginning, I was really struggling to stay asleep through the night, so I took a lot of naps during the day. But, you know, sometimes if the pain got too bad, or if I was just feeling drowsy, I would just take a lovely nap. And that was a great way <laughs> to spend a couple hours every now and then. When I first started getting to come upstairs and work in my workroom again, I kind of started myself off easy. I sat on my computer, kind of propped my foot up under the desk as much as I could, and browsed the Steam Summer Sale, which I got a couple games, and one of them was Balloons Tower Defense 6. If you've never heard of it, it's a tower defense game where you have little monkeys that have different roles, and you place them on the map, and their job is to pop the balloons before they get to the other end of the stage. I saw Brady playing this game a couple months ago, and he got really into it. Like, it was his, you know, in the evening while he's doing other stuff or watching something on his computer, he would just sit and play that game. And it looked so fun. And I got it for myself. And it is a lot of fun. It's one of those games that you can sink hours into without realizing it. Like I would sit here and play and I felt like I'd been playing for like 30 minutes. Nope, it had been like four hours. <laughs> it's a really fun game. I highly recommend if you like the kind of, you know, idle, place things on the map and watch it go kind of things. The sound effects are great. The characters are adorable. It's also been a really fun game for me to play while at my computer and getting to be in my workroom again. I have watched so much TV in the last six weeks. And the thing is, it's not much more than I normally would watch because what I like to do when I'm home, if I'm working on stuff, if I'm just downstairs, I have the TV on all the time anyway. It's just good background noise and especially YouTube. So most of the things I've been watching have been YouTube. Uh, a few examples of channels that I really have enjoyed watching during my recovery are, as mentioned before, Karen Puzzles. She's great. Um, Bernadette Banner, Angela Clayton, The Completionist, The Game Grumps, The Try Guys, um, Markiplier, Jacksepticeye, Dan and Phil, etc, etc. Like, you know, a bunch of channels that are just fun to watch. Nice, fun content about sewing, crafting, video games, just, just lovely content. Especially if it's videos that I've watched before, because I have a habit of re-watching things a lot. And I don't see anything wrong with that. If it's, it's like video comfort food. I know I like it, so I can watch it again and listen to it in the background while I do knitting or play Metopia or just relax. So, been watching a lot of TV. So overall, this surgery recovery has been interesting. It's gone a lot smoother than I thought it would, which is great. And that's mostly, in, mostly due to Brady being the absolute best in the world. Like when I was first laid up on the couch, I really couldn't get up much except to go to the bathroom. And I was in a lot of pain and sleeping a lot. He had me covered. Like he brought me anything I needed. He was keeping up with the housework. He was still working. Uh, it, he was working from home pretty much the whole time. Props to him. Thank you, Brady. I absolutely love you and adore you. Thank you for helping me through this process. It would be impossible for me to do without you. But overall, I'm doing a lot better, becoming a lot more independent. So excited to be back to making content. 
making YouTube videos, streaming, making TikToks, and especially getting back to making products for my online shop. I've missed it. I've missed making things. And um, little plug here, my online shop is craftyannasnedden.com. <laughs> Everything on there is handmade by me and me alone. I make scrunchies, skirts, journals, etc., etc. You can all find it on there. So, I think that is where I'm going to leave off today's video. This was a lot of fun to film, and it got me up and moving and creating again. And I thought it'd be a fun video to reintroduce you guys to me a little bit and explain where I've been. So, Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it if you would leave any kind of feedback you have down in the comments or if you've had a surgery recovery and you have any advice because I have to do this all over again for my second foot later this year. So if you have any advice or any things that you like to do during recovery when you're laid up on the couch, let me know. That'd be super helpful for round two. <laughs> and I will see you guys in the next one. Remember, you are beautiful inside and out. Don't let anybody, especially yourself, tell you any different, okay? I will see you next time.